Thank you for your patience today. Um, promise not to make it a habit. Uh, two items for all of you at the top. Uh, as you all know, last month, the White House, we announced the President will be hosting uh, a meeting, would be hosting a meeting, I should say, with private sector leaders on August 25th, which is, of course, tomorrow on cybersecurity. Uh, the President, members of the Cabinet, and his national security team and private sector and education leaders are going to be meeting to discuss how we can work together to collectively improve the nation's cybersecurity. The escalating cyber threats we face require a whole-of-nation effort. Uh, the President will be joined for, by leaders from the tech, the critical infrastructure, insurance, and education sectors, and we will have more details for you uh, later today, but I just wanted to note that is happening tomorrow, uh, and there's, of course, a lot of ground that we will be covering. I know a number of you have been asking this um, as well, and yesterday evening the President spoke, or last night, I should say, the President spoke to New York Governor Kathy Hochul prior to her being sworn in as Governor of New York. He congratulated her on her new job and historic role as the next governor of New York. They talked of their shared time at Syracuse University, and Governor Hochul told the President she wanted to visit Washington to meet with him to discuss infrastructure and how to work together to improve the lives of New Yorkers. The President looks forward to hosting her at a future date. Uh, as you know, she also joined a call on Saturday with other Northeastern governors, uh, with the President, F the FEMA Administrator, and Homeland Security Advisor Liz Sherwood Randall to discuss tropical storm uh, Henri and the federal response to help mitigate the storm's impact. Uh, with that, Amr, go ahead. Uh, great. Uh, a couple of 